Am I the asshole for telling my dad his masculinity is too fragile? So my whole life I've known that my dad was a homophobe. No one else in my immediate family is, and no one really talks about any kind of LBGTQ plus topic around him so it doesn't really come up a lot with him. But whenever anything gay happens around him he starts on a small rant. So anyway, after living with this my whole life, I am now 24, F, and I have a one-year-old little girl who loves the Wiggles, a kid's show. Sometimes when I'm visiting my parents we'll, me and my mom, turn on Wiggles for her on Netflix and it keeps her entertained while we visit. My dad is always commenting on how he doesn't like the Wiggles and it's creepy. I usually ignore him but yesterday I decided to ask why. And he said, because, to sing and dance and smile like that is a full-grown man, you have to be gay. That's not the kind of people you want around kids. I was kind of in shock at what he said and I was like, it's just something funny and colorful for the kids. I don't even remember what he said afterwards but it was another gay comment and I said, well maybe their masculinity isn't as fragile as yours. My mom laughed at my comment but my dad was less than amused and was in a really bad mood and snapping at everyone so I decided to leave early. My mom told me he's still mad this morning and that I really shouldn't have said anything because, I know how he is. She also told my sister about it who texted me to tell me I should be more respectful to our dad. Shush has always been a daddy's girl, and basically that I was being an R. So am I the asshole? Not the asshole, honestly. If he's going to talk like that all the time maybe he should expect to hear about it occasionally. You didn't cuss him out or anything. Not the asshole. There are a lot of good reasons to not like watching the Wiggles, but gayness shouldn't be one of them. You're dead on accurate, it seems, and he didn't like being called out on it. Now I have to try to get fruit salad, yummy yummy, out of my head. It's been years, years. But there it is tormenting me again, rolling on the floor laughing. Not the asshole. To change the world men like your dad have to change their minds. They will never change their minds if they are never called to the table. He doesn't have to appreciate it but maybe he's the one who ought to start thinking. Not the asshole, and your mom laughed so clearly it was funny. Not the asshole. The truth hurts sometimes. You obviously hit a sore spot. And good on you for doing it in front of your daughter. She needs to know that adults should be questioned. And your dad is absolutely fragile. Anyone that thinks it's appropriate to wave away someone's bad behavior with, you know how he is, is deluding themselves. Your dad is a homophobic AH don't wave it away, call it out. That's the only way he is going to get that it is completely unacceptable. Does who someone else sleep with impact him? Not in the least. Frankly, if he is so offended, then maybe he is protecting too much. Either way, you need to read this. Not the asshole I get the whole. You know how he is thing, coming from your mom who wants to keep peace, but unfortunately there are plenty of people in this life you can't and won't change. I had a serious talk about something similar with someone close to me when I had a child. It was uncomfortable but had to happen. If I can't change how they think then I at least need to be 100% clear on my expected boundaries when my child is with that person. Good for you. Not the asshole. Your dad sounds like a really insecure man. My hubby, one of the most manly men I have ever met, went to a Wiggles concert and sang, danced because his twin sons were really into the Wiggles at the time. When his little girl wanted to paint his toes, he said just make sure to pick a color that will make his feet look good, he has the feet cavemen would envy. Being a man and a great dad is about showing your kids it is okay to be themselves, to embrace who they are, and to show love, support, and encouragement. It was probably predictable that the comment would upset him, given what seems to be a whole host of repressed issues surrounding his masculinity. I'd probably have said nothing just to avoid the argument, for an easier life, but you're not the asshole. I had a boyfriend once, for a short, short time, who used to see penises everywhere. I mean everywhere. Your dad immediately reminded me of him. Who looks at a kid's TV show sees homosexuals who shouldn't be around kids? At best odd. Not the asshole. They say you should be more respectful but do they even disagree with you? He gave his opinion and you gave yours. Yeah saying things in a civilized manner is important. When it's not provoked. He's already shaming something unnecessarily so you can contradict him with the same attitude. You're not obligated to step on eggshells for the sake of his ego. That's just further proving your point. Not the asshole, and by his reaction, you're correct. Not the asshole. I wouldn't allow someone like that to be around my children, but I know that's much easier said than done. Not the asshole. Hit dog gonna holler, and all that.
your sister and mom are fine with, that's how he is, but you have a child to look out for and homophobia shouldn't be on the menu when she visits them. NTA and honestly you can pretty much always know that you're in the right if criticism of your actions involves the phrase, you know how X is, that always means, you're right but it's inconvenient for me if you don't lay down and let them walk all over you. Not the asshole, but honestly homophobe, overly sensitive men that can't deal with the truth are not the kind of people you want to have around your children. Woman shrugging medium light skin tone. Not the asshole, but I have to ask what does he think of Mr. Rogers? Well for starters, the wiggles are creepy haha. But not the asshole. my dad is a man's man, and would still watch our dumb kid shows with us on the weekends because he understands how television acting works. Not the asshole. To be silent is to be accepting and give consent to the behavior. Not the asshole. If you really want him to lose his shit, say. I don't know, dad. That one Wiggles guy kind of looks like you. And his real name is the same name as you too. Just coincidence I guess. Lol so pointing out that he has fragile masculinity hurt his feelings and he got mad. Sounds like he just confirmed what you said. You're not the asshole. Homophobes are always the assholes. Not the asshole. Nothing sets off fragile masculinity faster than an accusation of fragile masculinity. NTA. Whiny fragile bigots are. Not the asshole. Also the blue wiggle, Anthony Field, is sexy AF. Edit. Citation. Not the asshole, clearly. However, I do feel sorry for men like your father, who are obsessed with what they are afraid to have, and try to punish the world for the sins they want to commit. Not the asshole. Not because you told him he had fragile masculinity, but because the wiggles fucking rock. I'm a 17-year-old guy who has 17-year-old friends, and you bet your ass we jammed to fruit salad in the car. Ooh girl I think your dad may be closeted. He's trying too hard. Sincerely, a gay dude. Not the asshole, good on you. Not the asshole, but the wiggles are super creepy. It's not anything to do with sexual orientation. Just really uncomfortable. The fake enthusiasm, the lurking knowledge that they are the face of a multi-million dollar company, the way their eyes don't match the smile. They're scary dude. Not the asshole. You should send him a text, heard I touched a nerve wiggle wiggle. Not the asshole sounds like you hit the nail on the head. Someone who is secure about themselves shouldn't have to feel the need to tear other people down. I wouldn't apologize for pointing out an obvious truth. Not the asshole, obviously. Trash people with trash opinions deserve to be called out. I find it hilarious that people want to say that things like dancing and singing are gay, when 60-70 years ago the most popular and desirable celebrities basically made their fame on singing and dancing, Elvis, Sinatra, Gene Kelly, etc. Not the asshole. I hate the excuse of tiptoeing around people. If I have to tiptoe around him about nothing bringing up these kinds of things, they should also tiptoe around ME and make sure they don't rant about these things in front of ME. It's a two-way street, he's just sensitive. Good for you to call him out. Not the asshole he is the way he is because he's been allowed to rant about these things, and nobody has called him out on it. I'd much rather have a gay person around my child than a hateful homophobe. Good for you, for not allowing your father to poison your child with his hatefulness. Not the asshole truth hurts. If he has a problem with your statement, he needs to look at himself for the answer. NTA passive homophobia like this is still homophobia. I find the wiggles annoying as fuck but his reasoning is BS. Not the asshole. He can go pick up the pieces of his masculinity with his tail between his legs, the salty Sally. Info. Is your dad worth many millions of dollars? I only ask because you know who is. The Wiggles, in all their happy smiling glory. Not the asshole. No offense but your dad sounds like a right turd. Not the asshole. Ask him how it feels to be so privileged to have everyone tiptoe around him all the time. Ask him to try and justify why that should continue. The reason he keeps pulling this is he gets away with it. Not the asshole. there's an 85% chance he's a closet case so that might be a future adventure for everyone. Not the asshole. If he doesn't want his old-fashioned, hidebound ideas about gender and sexuality to be debated or challenged, he should keep them to himself. Your dad straight up said I shouldn't be able to hang out with my niece or nephews. His masculinity is fragile. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Even old homophobes can sometimes change if you challenge them enough. What if his granddaughter turns out to be gay? You'll want him to be prepared for that possibility so no harm is likely to come to her. 
maybe ask him how he'd treat his granddaughter if she turned out to be gay next time he starts in. I know how he is. He's a homophobe is how he is. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, you deserve a ribbon. Not the asshole. Your dad's feelings got hurt because he got called out for being bigoted. LGBTQIA plus folks get discriminated against, hurt, or even killed on a daily basis because homophobic people's feelings and opinions are treated as more important than their lives. If we have to deal with that on a daily basis, your dad can handle a little bit of honesty. Not the asshole sounds like you hit the nail on the head and he's butt hurt about being called out like that. Just remember, masculinity is whatever you want it to be. My mom told me he's still mad this morning. Not the asshole further proof of his fragile masculinity. Not the asshole he didn't like it because now he's uncomfortable and thinking. Good job for standing up to him. Your daughter might have a less douchey grandfather eventually because of moves like that. Not the asshole. Better for him to get called out by family than workplace or sim.